And welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Vladimir's Fortune. It's going to be a Vladimir Misfortune aggro deck here with Bilgewater and Noxus. And uh, we're going to have Citrus Courier at the top end. That's going to be a pretty awesome one. So basically, uh, we need, we're need we going to be using Bilgewater to help Vladimir level up. And the reason why Bilgewater helps Vladimir level up so easily is um, these self-damage units. Krusty Codger that, that self-damage. You have your for Fortune Croaker doing that. So you have, you have some uh, self-damage units. Those help your Vladimir level up. Of course, we're going to have Imperial Demolitionist here also. So we're going to have that stuff going on um, to help our Vladimir level up. And that's a, these are all just like cheap little units. So that means that they're going to be wanting to attack. So we're going to be playing Misfortune to help them attack. Now, uh, we played this deck a few weeks ago, but I'm changing up a couple of things. We played like Legion Veteran in the four mana slot. I want to try Island Navigator instead because I want the scouts to go along with Misfortune. So maybe we can have three attacks in a turn if we have like our, you know, if we have Misfortune in play, have our scouts attack have our regular attack, and then also have Citrus Courier and get an additional attack from rallying with Citrus Courier. That could be pretty nice. Or, of course, you know, having Citrus Courier rally on our opponent's turn, which I guess we don't really have any ways to do Nexus damage on our opponent's turn. Decimate? Never mind. <laughs> yeah, I guess. But if, if that happens, you know, that could be some, some attacks on their turn. Sprayfin's going to be drawing Transfusion and Might. Transfusion, of course, is another way to deal damage to our own units for Vladimir. And, of course, the, the Courier is perfect in here because we're going to heal our allies three because they're self-damage. Like they're, We're doing the self-damage to our own allies, and then, boom, Citrus Courier heals them up with the Rally. So it's a cool little combination there. I'm also changing up the two-mana slot. We, we played Crimson Disciple last time, but I honestly just don't think Crimson Disciple is the best. We're going to try Hired Gun with that Vulnerable. Um, I was really debating between Hired Gun and uh, Legion Grenadier, which one of those two to play. Um, I think I'm going to try Hired Gun, but I'm not sure. Maybe it should be Legion Grenadier. Um, I, I think that I, I do like that Vulnerable. I think that Vulnerable is pretty powerful, especially when we got like little things and we got um, Misfortune and everything. So we're going to try that. All right, so let's try this out. Vladimir's Fortune. We're going to go play five games in ranked. Shouldn't be. Okay. What we got? All right, so Jawani Ash, but then with a Trindamir for the Frostbite. So this would be a slower hand for sure, going with the Island Navigator, Vladimir at the top end. Um, both good cards. Let's mulligan this. Hopefully find a one drop. Ooh. Oh no. Definitely wanting a one drop for the Fortune Croaker. I also don't mind like the first, uh, even the first two turns of just banking the mana with having these spells. Okay, so now we we definitely need to draw something, a unit that costs three or less. That will do, I suppose. Looking for trouble? It found you. So I'm taking six. Charge! Taking five. Every wave is a path. Ooh, that's a good one. Now I have the transfusion available to help protect Misfortune from like a cooling strike. Reckoning. Alright, how do I want to do it? Do I want to do transfusion or might? I guess transfusion. I could, I could have, like, mited the Island Navigator and turned this into 5 power with the Scout. Or even the, I guess even the Legion Saboteur turned that into 5 power with the Scout. And then we would have, you know, dealt 12 damage with the Legion Saboteur. So I'm doing less damage to keep Misfortune alive. We'll see how that plays out for us. Oh, gosh. That card's awesome. You've got dangerous eyes. I like that. Not just the eyes, you know. You've got some fight in ya. Two out of five. Sinaso! 
Still when I talk, for gold I lease it. Four. Fresh out of mercy. Citrus Courier could come in big. That Citrus Courier could come in big. There we go, GG's. All right, Vladimir's Fortune, one and O. Oh. That's why I'm the captain. Ooh, Ezreal Swain. <laughs> why did I say Swain? Sorry. Draven Ezreal. <laughs> Draven Ezreal, definitely a really good deck. Uh, let's see, we're mulliganing that. I think we'll keep one drop, one drop, Island Navigator. Ooh, another one drop. We'll play, let's see, we're leading with Krusty Codger. The main thing is basically, do I play Crack Shock Corsair before attacking, or do I just simply attack for two? I think we just play this. I don't really know why. Can't think of like a specific card that punches us for playing that first. Yeah, so far so good for our rank day. Um, playing some good decks today. Playing decks that I was uh, excited to play. And we've been getting some good fortune. See? Good fortune. We go with the higher gun with this Island Navigator. Turn. Dangerous waters. Three one. Oh. Something to keep us moving. A real battle. Captain's orders. Pull it to the. This is gonna hurt for you. I think I'm gonna trade away the crack shot corsair. With the Draven. Okay, yeah, definitely the Crash Shot Corsair. Yeah, I like I like the higher gun more than the octopus. But I don't know, the, the octopus is good too. But I, I do like, you know, like when we're doing like the self damage, when the Vladimir doing the self damage, like you need. Uh, I kill you, I don't fuck you. you need a lot of health. And that's what I like about the higher gun. Because it has a lot of health. Alright, so this will level up Vladimir. Demolitionist and Krusty Codger. That's assuming the Demolitionist hits. They could use a removal spell. So it may not. They can use Spinning Axe and trade. But Draven's good. If they don't break... Okay. Yeah, they discarded another spinning axe. Oh no. Great jury rig. I was definitely planning on that thing dealing damage to be able to turn on plunder for the Jagged Butcher. I guess we can try to wait till next turn and try to Demolitionist. Me. 
I've dressed for the occasion in red. Let's get me close. Like they have four, you know, cards. Like those spinning axes were, were pretty nice. Turning those, you know, they got to keep turning those spinning axes into cards. Ooh. Citrus Courier. Huh? For the Empire. Make the Empire proud. If they have Thermogenic Beam, they'll be able to kill the Vladimir with the Thermogenic Beam either way. Yep. Which, of course, is too bad because the Thermogenic Beam was guaranteed plunder. Or that, not, sorry, the Vladimir was guaranteed plunder. Ugh. Need that Vladimir. Vladimir. Island Navigator. The ocean Take that. Secrets. We can do some work. They don't know what they're up against. I thought you'd never ask. This is our way. Excuse you. So, you know, I'm trying to trade. And then let's have a bigger thing to attack with. You would have been nice to turn on Plunder earlier, Crackshot Corsair. But to be fair, I did have a Crackshot Corsair, and I traded it for the Draven. So, I guess there is that. I'm pretty surprised the 4-1 attacked. Because the 4-1 would be a good blocker. Yeah, very surprised that that 4-1 attacked. <laughs> Pretty good. I never miss. All right, GGs. Dangerous waters. Good hand, good hand. Sejuani Swain. Well, let's try to go underneath this deck. 
they're you know setting up in the late game playing like leviathans and swains and stuff like that it's not going to be good for us um, can we get a one drop no we have eight one mana cards we need to draw one of them I guess I should have mulliganed the Fortune Croaker as well. Come on, one, one drop. Darn. Probably the Iron Ballista, that's a good card. <laughs> oh, Krusty Codger. Could have had you last turn. So saving two mana, two mana can be good for transfusion if we draw that, but um, not really too much difference between Krusty Codger and Hired Gun. I'll just save the extra mana and Hired Gun can be a lot more valuable later with the Vulnerable. But right here, I don't think it really makes a difference. Look at that. No pray, no pay. Save the extra mana, we did draw the transfusion. Hope they have Culling Strike. That's pretty scary. Sure about that? <laughs> so helps level up my Vladimir, I guess. Does that. Transfusion. Hmm. At any cost. The three one should be attacking. Snow swallows their tears. We live here. I uh, figured it out. Five mana next turn. We'll play this. We'll see if they play something for me to hired gun. Four seven Swain would not be good. Let's see. Cute when you're armed. Firepower is always in style. Guns blazing. Love yeah, I agree, Mad Wheels. Mad Wheels says that Swain would be a below average champion without his boat. Yeah, I agree. Um, yeah, definitely. Leviathan is Leviathan's super powerful. That's really what makes Swain real good. This does an extra point of damage to me. Born for conquest. Day. So next turn we're gonna have seven, eight mana. Or it could be nine if I don't play Krusty Codger. Sorry, Miss Fortune. I think I want to play Vladimir. Let's, let's see what they do. They're out there. I'll spot them. Because of course Vladimir is going to be a six-six with regeneration. Hello, my darling. Yeah, you don't see a lot of the other boats. What's the? It's like Draven's biggest fan is maybe like the next boat after Leviathan, and then maybe. Like Dreadway, then Tusk Raider, then the Siren. It's probably the order of the boats. Strength through suffering. Oh, 
All right, cool. Got to kill Sejuani. I hope no Ravenous Flock. I refuse. But we got them down to six. No Ravenous Flock. Let's just regen. Pass. Just pass. What are you doing? Just pass. Was that the card? They just drew that off of the Avros and Sentry? Come on. We have not been getting lucky with our Vladimir the last two turns. Yeah, well, we drew a Captain Farron, so that helps, helps make up for it. you like to see more tutors in Runeterra? I could see there being more tutors, because we don't have that many, but there are, a, you know, there are a couple. You know, you have your boats, you have your Entreat, uh, you have your thing like Zap Sprayfin, which can be a tutor. I can see there being more tutors. Hey, what's up, Dragon? Yeah, we've had a really good day so far. Yeah, I think that Yone should be a... Yeah, I think that's something that could help out Yasuo. Because Yasuo, that's the kind of car that definitely needs a boat. So yeah, Yone being a boat for Yasuo would make a lot of sense. Except for Yone being a boat. I guess that part doesn't make sense, but... Yeah, that's what I mean. Hey, hey, we got a one-drop this time. Good curve. All right, I think I'm gonna just attack for two right now before they play uh, Daybreak card. I think it's pretty likely they have Daybreak card. And I'm only missing out on two damage by doing this. And of course I could be wrong. Could, maybe I could have gotten two damage in. But I, I wanted to get some damage in. I did not want Daybreak card to, they forced us to choose ruin stuff. Alright, so they're going to go Diana. I have backup misfortunes. So, so Diana, Pell, Cascade, which is the worst case scenario. We still have backup misfortunes, so that's okay. Looks like they had double, di double Diana. Yeah, Yone's a wind chaser, so yeah, it can be a... It can be a boat, because it's a wind chaser. Yeah, welcome, Dragon. Yeah, we've had a, a real good day so far. Oh, I wish I had one more mana for that transfusion. Let's play the Krusty Codger first. Enemies, nah. allies, you're full of surprise. Definitely the card I wanted to see the least. That card plays defense really well, because I, I still definitely want to attack, so I guess we're just going to throw away a 2-1 Krusty Codger. Can do 3 damage to Leona. Okay, they're just going to block with the Diana. That's honestly bad for me, because that probably means another Diana is coming down. So a tune it means we'll be able to have Sprayfin plus Transfusion. Robin. Mm -hmm. So we have second attack with Sprayfin, third attack with Citrus Courier. Where are you at? Two? Maybe more important to kill Robin. It's like, which, which one of these do I want to kill? Let's go with Killing Robin. Rude. Alright, well now I'm probably not going to play Citrus Courier. Now we can just kill both their champions with Transfusion and Might. Considering not playing the Might, because like having that for a Citrus Courier turn could be cool. Now, let's just... Let's just go and do this. Put some decent pressure on them. Night flowers upon my you know, like we'll play like Vladimir on their turn, on my turn. Maybe we get to attack with Sprayfin, and that's number three. And then Citrus Courier makes number four. So, 
by the other thing about not playing Citrus Courier this time this turn is they may not realize that I'm going to be able to have uh, four attacks faster than what they may expect. Three mana make it rain. Um, oh yeah, I can't. I can. Never mind. I can't play Vladimir. Right, Vladimir's five, not six. Courier's the six. Bless the faithful and fear the heretics. No more hiding. This one's mine. Glorious. Love the transfusion draw. You get to do that with Citrus Courier. And of course, we can reheal. Attack like this, that's going to be three to them, and then another three to them with the Misfortune. So that's already six to them, and they're they're tapped out, so then Sprayfin uh, will kill them with the no regrets, no uh, Transfusion. We've got tr Transfusion Sprayfin. No, they, they have to have the 7-7 seven, seven front 4-4. Four, four. No mercy for heretics. Because that puts them to one. So I could do it either way. I could... Uh, I guess we put it on the regeneration thing. We could put it on the spray fin to kill them, or we could put it on the misfortune to kill them. Either way. Uh, which one should we do? Which one's cooler? Maybe make bigger misfortunes cooler? Strength through suffering. That's probably cooler. All right, GGs. Good job, Citrus Courier. That's why I'm the captain. So with Targon, so this has got to be the fearsome deck with Targon, and we have a lot of two power things. So I don't, I don't necessarily love this. Um, oh, this is tough. Citrus Courier could be really important. I'm gonna, I'm just gonna keep these. Just gonna keep these. The thing is, like, these are both two power. Oh no, we get punished right away for not mulliganing the courier. I was thinking with our draw steps, we would find things to do. You know, turn two, three, four. Yeah, I mean, I guess they just trade. Where's our two, three, fours? Oh my gosh. We drew the two most expensive cards in our deck. Oh, the worst things to possibly draw. Wow, that's not good. Let's get to it. All right, well, three draws and not a unit that costs three or less. We shall not rest until all the That's too bad. Okay. Get you, you Dangerous water. <laughs> not a lot of fearsome blockers over here. This is our way. Hello, my darlings. 
absolutely parched. Man. Yeah, I really should have mulliganed the Citrus Courier, because we're we don't even have the attack token on turn six. That have to be turn seven. I really should have mulliganed this. That I got really punished Time with these draws. Blessed is Moshe. Time to get rich. Paint your feelings. Good hand for them, though. GG's. I can block two things. And we're dead. That fearsome deck's pretty good. And uh, I did, could not stop fearsome at all. That... That's going to be kind of rough with just like all the stuff that we're playing. These are all basically two power, but we, we just have to be aggressive like them. I guess I need to... I was thinking like the Vladimir and Citrus Curve would be a really good top end, um, which it would have been. You know, it would have been a really good top end if we would have been able to curve out with the other stuff. But of course, I didn't have the cards to curve out yet. I was relying on my mulligan and the draw steps for those. And so I, I should have just... I needed to mulligan more. That was... Um, yeah, we, we drew two of our three most expensive cards immediately. That was too bad. But, uh, cause even, cause even if one of those was just like a, instead of one of those couriers or Captain Farron's, if one of those was even a Vladimir, we at least, like that last turn, we could have had the Vladimir's transfusion as well as the Might and been able to block two things with that. But yeah, I, I like this deck. I, I thought that this was a very fun one to play. I liked playing this. I liked the games. I. Uh, and it felt pretty good. I liked the the higher gun was good. I think that was a good addition. Um, and I, I did like Island Navigator. I think that that was also a good addition to go along with Misfortune. So, um, yeah, a fun deck. You know, a different uh, Vladimir deck. If you've been wanting to try out uh, the new Vladimir and play something with it, give this one a try. This one was pretty good. All right, but anyway, those of y'all watching on YouTube, of course, hit that like button. And also, please leave those comments. Those comments help share the videos. Uh, so just, you know, let me know what you think of the deck or uh, how it's going for you. If you try the deck out or just anything about the games, any questions, comments, anything like that. I always appreciate those. And of course, I really appreciate y'all for watching. Thank you so much. And I'll see you for the next video.